Hey guys, welcome back to Prep, and you know today we're talking about foods as I told you, and I am going to show you what you need to be eating to ensure body fat loss, weight loss. Basically, I'm gonna show you an emergency summer body plan. Here's the four meals that you have to have every single day if you want to lose body fat. <laughs> folks if you eat that every single day you are for sure gonna lose a lot of weight a lot of weight mm, look kind of crazy maybe anyway just kidding <laughs> Today's video is showing you what I'm eating, what I'm eating to prepare for my show and for me to drop body fat. I don't eat meat, I'm not including fish, so everything is going to be vegetables or vegetarian options. I make up a lot of my protein with shakes, you'll see. But anyway, before I get into this video, um, I need to make my wine real quick. One second. to pour me a little bit of wine real quick and I don't want to hear anybody telling me this ain't wine because this is definitely wine okay so you guys need to mind your business anyways as I sip my wine and tell you guys about my meal prep wine is allowed my coach said that this wine is okay so here we go but anyway <laughs> let's get right into the video Here's all the food that I'm going to consume over the course of this one week. You have your asparagus, broccoli, you got little peppers and onions for flavor, you got your quinoa, beans, peanut butter, protein, apples, grapefruits, you have everything here. You see it. You see it. Accuracy is key. So this is why you have to keep your tools on deck. You have to have your scale and you have to have your measuring cups because you need to know exact measurements, exact ounces, grams, whatever it is that you're measuring in, exact of your fats, carbs, and proteins. Oatmeal. I love oatmeal. I use the third cup and I put about five of those in and it usually gives me half a cup for each bowl. I go ahead and I level it off, level it off, level it off real nice. Mmm, plain oats with nothing on them. Mmm. Now a tablespoon of peanut butter in each one. Perfectly leveled off. Don't mess up your measurements. This is why we use exact measurements so you know what's in all of your food so see exactly one tablespoon measured off this is not leveled off this is not a tablespoon okay <laughs> now bring on the big boy probably have enough quinoa to last me for like next 10 years I'm gonna get about three good cups of this. I should do it. Maybe even two and a half. with a saucepan of boiling water. So then you have Holy Mama Bamboo Steamer. Ooh, kill them. We are going to throw all of our veggies up in here, up in here. And there's levels to this. You thought it was just one. It's two. Steaming is the best way, to me, in my opinion, to cook your veggies because you retain a lot of the crunch, a lot of the flavor, and a lot of the nutrients. So, Without further ado, we're gonna get our veggies up in here. So I usually put the broccoli on the lowest level because they take a little longer than peppers and onions to cook. So the broccoli goes closer to the skin. Since I have so much asparagus, asparagus is life, they will go on the top and the bottom. They'll cook fine. And here we are with the second level. Sit it right up on the pan that has the 
them in here for about 20 minutes. Over here, we have our water torched gourmet eggs. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Is that a crack in one of them? Two of them? Three of them? Oh my goodness. They're getting cracked. Oh my goodness. So the boiled eggs are back in the carton so every morning I can just grab and go easy peasy lemon squeezy. Ooh. Ah. It's magic. Oh yeah. Technology turn up. A plus 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 for technology. So here I have my quinoa and my beans in my bowls. I have a quarter cup of beans and I have a half a cup of quinoa. And now I'm ready to put my veggies in. I'm supposed to have a cup of veggies. And this is where my little friend comes in. Mr. Scale. Okay, so a cup of veggies is about eight ounces. So I'm just gonna go ahead here and I'm gonna grab a bunch. So here we have about a cup of asparagus and that is going to be one portion. Can't wait to eat that. Okay, so here's everything that I'm going to consume for the next week, about five days, and I will re-up myself on the weekend. Starting with breakfast or meal one, I'm going to have two scoops of my shake over here and it is vanilla funnel cake flavor. How fun is that? 50 grams of protein. I'm going to have two eggs and one grapefruit. Meal one. Meal two is going to be apple, broccoli, and another shake. Then I'm going to have half a cup of oats with my tablespoon of peanut butter. And then for my last meal, I'm going to have a cup of veggies, a quarter cup of beans, and a half cup of quinoa. Here you have it. All my foods for the week. Meals one through four, right to go. And guys, that's really it. That's all I'm eating. Nothing more, nothing less. Very basic. I didn't choose to put in sweet potatoes or anything that needs to go in the oven for the, an extended period of time because I just don't want to spend those hours meal prepping every week. I want quick and easy options. I was eating rice cakes, which is an easy meal to switch out switch in whenever I get tired of something I might put it back in I might leave it out but all in all I choose options that are really quick and easy to make and things that don't require much effort so my prep usually takes me around an hour and a half maybe two hours tops to put everything in the bowls and get it in the fridge and wash dishes and all that good stuff but basically that's all I eat it's just about consistency it's not so much of like what exactly this person's eating, what they're doing. It's about good options and doing it over a consistent period of time. So for three months, this is exactly how I'm going to be eating. And that's basically it. And yes, you can do this without eating meat. So a lot of people like to say, well, you're not eating meat. How are you gaining muscle? I don't know. I guess I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed my meal prep. If you have any further questions about anything here that I did that I didn't do, you want to know anything other, feel free to comment, email me, DM me, message me, whatever it is. Let me know. I am here to explain everything to you guys. Thank you.